fact that we're a small company in Australia that's part of this international partnership. I feel proud to say that I work on this, this program and we're also feeding into it with new technologies and new ideas. That's really exciting. You know, Australia's got such a great design and manufacturing background. With this F35 project, it's a great opportunity for some of the multi-skilled engineers to adapt their skills into the aerospace environment. As a tradesman, a challenge is uh, all that is needed. And this program drives everybody. It gives an opportunity to learn, innovate, create and excel. Over the last year, I've seen potential for Australian industry to just branch off in a different direction completely, which is vital to the survival of Australia as a manufacturing nation. It's taking us into a new environment, new products, new systems and new ways of integrating those together. This is leading edge. There is no better in the world. So to me as an Australian, as a taxpayer, it means that we are getting the very best that we can. Behind that is Australian industry being part of that, supporting that aircraft. And that is going to be what's protecting my country. My daughter's name is Agnella, and it's a very old Italian name, and it means angel. My daughter's view is that once you're out of your pyjamas, it's ice cream o'clock. So any time in the day, uh, it's fair game to ask for ice cream. And I tend to agree with it. She gets excited when I tell her about the fact that we're having a machine brought to Australia that's bigger than our house. There's a lot of bad press about manufacturing in Australia, that it's a, a dying industry, but I'm quite proud to say to my friends and colleagues that I work on a growth opportunity. With the, the Australian dollar being very high and a lot of imported cars being cheap, the move within the state is to move to uh, higher technology projects. And when we started the F-35 project, I think our export market was about half a percent of the whole business, and now we're at about 40 to 50 percent of our business. We're in an age now where we don't use the old techniques, the old machines. We need to um, keep learning these new methods so we can stay competitive, stay on top of the game. The F-35 project uh, is providing the next generation of, of students and, and engineers the opportunity to be involved in a very high class, high performance aircraft. My son Peter, Ferro is able to offer him a position to, in the production environment uh, whereby his, his skills are well suited. His future looks a lot brighter because of this um, type of work. The knowledge I've learned working here and working on some of the most complicated work this country's ever seen is very important. It's going to be important in the future to uh, pass that knowledge on. Otherwise, in the future, who's going to run these machines? No one will know. If Australia is really going to compete, we have to be at the forefront of technology. I think the most exciting thing is the Joint Strike Fighter for Australia, the two that we've already purchased, are being built now and there's Australian parts in them. It needs to be supported and encouraged and we'll do everything we can to make sure that our deliveries do that. There's not a better feeling than seeing something you've actually produced and see it flying around. It's a challenge, but as far as I'm concerned it's a good challenge and we're going to do it. <laughs>